Hey everyone, this is Sir Thagos back with another video and today I got another roll and write for you. Um, this one is called Wild Wild West. Um, I backed this just like some other roll and writes I showed you already. Um, I backed this on Kickstarter and I now got the file and yeah, I will play through it um, and let you watch me doing that. Um, just as usual, um, please check if there is um, the Esperanto subtitle track available. Um, if it is, that means that I added some comments or corrections after uploading the video. And also, if you want to support me, I'm happy about every support you can give me for the for the channel, subscription, like, or a comment. And if you just want to watch without doing anything, that's great too. All right, so um, let's get started. I will give you a very quick rundown of the basic rules but how it really is played and what everything means we will figure out while playing so we have our town here which we will give a name um, let me think let's call that one eagle valley not just because of the usa but just because the eagle is my favorite bird so if you ever asked yourself what is sir Thacker's favorite bird now you can sleep peacefully at night because now you know all right so how does this work this works we have a town here and we want to develop our town we have different districts or parts of the town and we have three dice that we roll each round this is the solo rules if you play with several players you have actually four dice and then you like pick specific dice you're using in the solo play you only have three dice and you use all of them so Let's say we roll our dice. Then we have a 1, 2, 6, for example. We always use one die to you um, to enter a specific part of town. So um, for the 1, we use the varmints, 2, cattle drive, 3, judge, 4, train station, 5, saloon, 6, sheriff. So for example, let's say I said I wanted to use the varmints. The second die is used to do something in the town. What we can do, I will tell you in a minute. So let's say we use the two, for example. That means we can cross out this bullet here. Um, and the third die is always used for something negative. So each town you see has like a little, little track. And if you do something negative, six, for example, would be up here, the sheriff, and then you would cross out the first uh, the first part of the track and whenever you get to a colored one something bad happens to another part of the town this is not something i will explain to you now and when we get there i will show you what happens then because i don't want you to watch um too long rule i mean you want to see me play and not explain rules all, um, like for hours all right so let's look at the different parts of the town um we have the varmints in here we can just use a specific a specific dice to cross out these bullets um, we get negative points for each one we didn't cross out so that is actually a pretty important part of the town and we get points for um, for each pair we have and the more pairs we have the better it is the more points we get as you see up here then we have the cattle drive here um, we need to um, do uh, fill the numbers in ascending order so a one and then a three a four and then a six maybe and if we have a five or six as the last number then we can start again with a one or two and we start here and go all the way up there um, these two belong together the judge and the sheriff here you see um, we need even rolls odd rolls rolls lower than four rolls higher than three and we first issue a warrant after that we can find the bandit then we can capture the bandit and then we need to jail him so we need to do it in that order have like an even number here even number there then there and then there um this is a little complex but it makes sense and it's a pretty funny concept actually that these two work together so i can't find anything here if i didn't warrant if there is no warrant for that culprit first then we have the train station here we just alternate between even and odd values that's pretty much it and we get points for each number we have there also we get for an entire row we get points and also we get 
another two bonus points if we have all numbers from one to six in here someplace and the last part of the town i didn't explain yet is um, the saloon here you, we can enter a buy price and a selling price the selling price needs to be higher than the buying price of course for us to get points and at the end we just um, subtract the buying price from the selling price and that's the points we get so pretty straightforward and that's pretty much it um, might seem a little bit complicated at the beginning, but if you play it once, then it actually makes sense. And now, without further ado, let's start. So, uh, three, five, and six. So, um, so we can only enter the three, the five, and the six. Sheriff, we can't do anything yet because there are no warrants yet. So either saloon or warrant. Um, saloon wouldn't be too bad because we could put in a selling price of th six, which is pretty high. That's not too bad, but the warrants are pretty important too. Oh, by the way, the game ends either when four parts of the town are either finished by me because I filled everything in, or they are closed because like one of the tracks has a red mark like I made it to the red mark, then a part of the town will be closed. Um, so if four of them are like that, or if they are two closed parts because I reached the red mark, then I immediately lose. So we want to avoid that. Um, so I think I'll go to the warrants for, for now because they are more important. So I use the three to go here to the judge, and then I will use the, let's say the six, to put in a warrant for the even guy and the five I will use for a negative check mark here like this okay and then we continue and that's pretty much how the game is played now you can stick around and watch me win or lose um, so two two four we can either go to the cattle drive or we can go to the train station um, actually two is pretty Good. So I would actually go use a two to go to the cattle drive. Then I would use another two to put above that longhorn's head. And for the four, I would go to the train station for the negative event. So spread out the negative events a little bit, so I don't reach the colored squares too quickly. Too quickly. Three, four, and six. Um, so th three and six. That's pretty nice. So I can do something there. Um, we could go to the 6 and use the 4. Let's do that. Let's use the 6 to go to the Sheriff and the 4 to find our bandit. And then the 3 will be f um, f here at the judge for the negative event or for the hardships as they are called in this game. Okay, 1, 3 and 6. Six would be great again. Oh no, we don't have an even number, you see. So six wouldn't help us too much. We could go here to the three again and put in an odd number. Why not? And have the next warrant here. So we are a little bit more free here. Let's do that. So let's um, use the three to go to the judge and a one. Actually, let's do the one for the for the lower than four because that's harder to get. And then we will use the six um, up here for the hardship. There we go. Next round. Two, four, and five. Okay, so two would be the longhorns again. Why not? We could do something there. Um, also, uh, four and five. Well, the train stations give can give quite a lot of points too yeah i would have liked to have one at some point <laughs> i think i did have one did i have one yet i don't think so i had one there last round i could have used that well whatever let's go to the train station why not let's go to the train station. no 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 i will go to the longhorn so let's take the two to go to the cattle drive and add a four Like this and for the five we will add another hardship here at the saloon need to be a little bit careful here but i think we're still oh we're still in the green 
five one one okay now we have a one let's go there so let's use a one to go to the to one over here and then with the we will cross out the five here and the one we will use for the hardship up here like this the light might be a little bit strange at the moment because it's stormy again outside so I hope it's not too distracting. Three, three, and six. So we could go to the six. We could go to the sheriff. That would work. Mm, because the... Well, we, we could also go to the judge to have like another three to open up the odd ones here. Let's do that. Let's use a three to go to the judge. Another three to which we will put here in, at the odd ones, and then for the six we will have let the hardships befall the sheriff. And we will continue. Two, six, six. So two cattle drive, that would be pretty good actually, to continue here. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's, why don't we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Well, but yeah, let's do that. So two. We we'll go to the cattle drive. We will put in a six here, and then next round we can put a one or two here again. Next time, I mean, and six will be up here with the sheriff again. So we now need to be careful with the hardships here at the sheriff. Okay, continue. Four, four, and six. Six actually would be nice. Four. Well, we haven't bothered with the train station yet, so let's not bother with it now either. Let's continue with the other things we are doing. So let's go to the sheriff, sheriff here, and put in a four here for even. So now we're done with the evens here. And the other four will be down here at the train station with the hardship. There we go. Okay. Oh. So three, four, and six. Three would be nice because then we could finish that one. That wouldn't be too bad. Let's do that. I think three and then either a four or a six. We will put a six there and the four will be down here, which isn't perfect either. But I think we will do that. So go to the judge, put in a six and let the hardships befall the train station. Okay. So you see, that's pretty much, that's the interesting um, aspect about this game. Every round something bad is happening. And you can't stop it. You just need to, you need to um, think about where do you want to develop the town and where do you let the hardships befall the town. And sometimes there's no easy way out. You know, so that's pretty interesting actually. Did I roll a new? Yeah, I rolled a new. One five five one, but we also already we don't have a five here anymore to put there. So we need to go to the five. Then let's go to the five and put in a one for the buying price so we will buy one bottle here and five will be down here too for the hardship okay one two and six two wouldn't be too bad oh but then six is oh six is gonna be tough you know what? No, let's go to the, let's go here first. So we will go, oh, that was a two, like this. So six, we will go to the sheriff and we will put in a two for the one be, um, below, four, uh, below four and then one will be here for the hardship. Okay, oops. One, four, six. We could use the six again. Put in a one here and hardship four. Oh, you see, slowly we have an issues here. We could have a hardship befall this up here, but then we would have, yeah, that would work actually. That, no, that wouldn't work because we would have to use a four there. That doesn't work. Well, no risk, no fun, I'd say, right? Yeah, no risk, no fun. So let's go to the six. 
there to the sheriff, put in a 1 here. And let the bad stuff happen to the train station, which I'm completely ignoring at the moment. I don't know why, but I mean, you can't do everything, so yeah. 1, 2, 3. We should go to the 3, for sure. Yes, we will definitely go to the to here, and then we need to um, add something to the um, lower than 4 one here. And let's put a 1 there. And the 2, we will be fall hardships here, because we haven't. Nothing has happened here yet. So you see, we are getting there. We are really getting there. 644. Four. Well, we can't use the 6 because there's nothing we can put in there. Odd. Higher than f 3, yes, but we first need to go here. So we need to go to the 4, the train station. We need to go there. And then we will put in a... So we will go to the train station. We will put in a four, and we will six will be up here for the hardship, because otherwise we would have had to use that one. Okay, two, four, six, six. We still can't do anything. No, we can't. Um, two. We could go. No, we can't go to the two either because we only have a four and a six. We need a one or two here. So we need to go to the 4 again. Well, then let's do that. Oh, but we can't do that either. Because we have to alternate between even and odd values. So you see, we can't do anything at the moment. We can't do anything. So what happens now is, then we will add a circle to the graveyard here. And this allows us, at some point, to, um, to cross that out and change up to up to all dice, to any values we want, which is pretty nice. Okay. Um, but we still need to add a hardship someplace. So, so it would work like this. For example, we would use the four, go to the train station, but the six we can't use. Okay, then we add that circle, but we will still add the hardship. So let's use the two for that because we don't have a whole lot here. Okay, so continue with the next round. So we need to finish. We need to finish um, this up here. We should finish because we stalled it here already, and we should finish these two, and then we're on a pretty good way. Okay, so we can enter the one. We can enter the three and the six. Three would be good because then we can open up more stuff here. Let's do that. So we will go to the judge and we will add a six to the higher than three. And one will be the hardship up here. And we continue. Two, four and five. 4 here, 5 there, 2. 2 would be good, but we can't add any numbers there, so 2 doesn't work. 4, we could go to the 4, that would work. We could also go to the 5 and add a 4 here. Hmm. But you see, yeah, we need to add the same numbers there and there. So then let's do that here. So let's um, go to the 5 and add a 4 selling price here, so that's three points later on, and the two will be up there. Okay. One, one, four. Either we go there, or we go there. Let's... Why don't we go to the train station? Well, actually, these are very important. So, let's go to the one, and um, cross out cross out the 4 here and add another hardship here. So you see we are almost well these 3 is still pretty free but otherwise we do have some issues now. We really do oh 
we need to hurry up now. Three, three, and six. We will definitely go to the six, I'd say. Yeah. We, well, we can't do anything here anyway, so we will go to the six. Add a three someplace. Um, we can't add it there, so we need to put it there. Three. And put a hardship here. And that's fine, because we still have room here. One, two, and four. One would be there. That would be actually not too bad to go there. But you would have to add a two then, and then have that hardship here. But I think that's something that I will... I think that's what I'm going to do. So with the 1, we will go to the varmints. Then we will cross out the 2 over here. So we have that line. And hardship will be here at 4. And that means now we always, for all these bottles, we get a minus 1 difference at the end when we calculate points. Well, not perfect, but... That's the way it goes, I suppose. 2, 2, and 6. 6, perfect. That's where we're going we're gonna to want to go. Oh, no, not perfect, because this is odd, and this is higher than 3, so we have nothing there. 2. Well, we could to the, go to the 2 and add one here, but then we would have an issue here. But let's do that anyway. So we will go to the 2 and add a 2. Remember, after when we have a five or six here, we can put a one or two here. And with the in the other two, no wait, in the other six, we will put here. And now we need to cancel one jailed. So you see the jail down here, and we need to cancel one of these. So the left one. So we can't get any points there anymore. One one four. Either we go to the we go here, which would be okay, or we go to the train station. Let's finish up the warm varmints now. So one, we go to the varmints, and one, we cross out that one here, and four train station down here. So we're pretty close to having the train station cancelled. One, two, six. Two would be good to do, but the one is even better. Let's do that. So we go to the varmints and we cross out the 6. And we will cancel, or not cancel, we will let the hardship affect the cattle drive. Okay. 166, six. we can't go there because there's no 6 we can use. And the 6 over here, odd, that would work. That would work. So let's do that. Let's go to the sheriff. And add a 1 here to the odds. And the 6 will be here. Okay. So we're slowly getting towards the end here. 1, 3, and 5. So either we can... Yeah, 3. See there. Perfect. Because 5 is still fine. That's perfect. 1, we go to the varmints. 3, we fill that out. And five, um, we will have that affected. And now, you see, we finished that one. So this town is now finished. So we will put a check mark here. It's not easy to see. Let's put a check mark beside it too, so we can see it a little bit better. All right, nice. So one of four parts is done. And if we can somehow get these two done now. That'd be great. 616. Well, that would work. That would actually work. So let's do that. Let's go. Sorry, my headset just turned off. I don't know why. So we will go to the 6. Um, we will add another 6 here. For that wanted person, and then we need to go to the one here, but that means I will have to cancel one longhorn. But okay, that's fine. It gets us closer to actually finishing that up. <laughs> okay, and remember, we still have that one ability there 644. Four. Perfect, that's actually pretty good. So we will go to the six here, we will add a four here. 
and this four will be affecting the train station, which we pretty much lost anyway. So now you see everything is filled in here. So that one is also closed. So we have two, we have closed two of four. So we just need one number here and three numbers there, and then we're done. So we could be done in four, in four um, um, turns. Okay. Um, so six two two. That's actually perfect. No, that's not perfect <laughs> at all. Um, well, two, six, and another two. Yeah, I think that would be okay. So we will go to the cattle drive, add a six here, and then we will let the hardships befall that. And then we need to cancel one train car, which is fine because we're not going after the train cars anyway. Okay, come on. One, one, five. That's actually pretty bad. That doesn't help us at all. So now we will use our power. Um, and what should we do? I think we should finish that one here now. So we will change all dice to a three. Then we will change um, one to anything higher than, yeah, let's, let's put a six just because it's cool. And then we will change that to a one. So it will stay. So we we'll go to the three, add a six here, and then fill in one more here. All right, so we're also done with that part. So we're done with three parts. And now we can't lose any more because four parts need to be closed or cancelled. If anything is cancelled, like the train station, for example, then the game is over, but we don't lose because we have cl we have finished three of them. And that's what we needed to do, at least. So we don't have a two again. That's pretty bad because I really wanted to finish that here. Three, five, and six. So three and six, they are done. So we can only go to five. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Five, and then let's put in a six here for selling price. And the three, we will have that negative thing here. Okay. A two. Which doesn't work because three and four. Well, and three is closed, so we only can only go to the train station. Really? you got to be kidding me. All right. So four, and then we will just... Um, then we will just add a three here, and the two we will use up here, like this. Okay, we are almost done. Two, again, we can't fill anything in there. Three is closed, so we need to go to the train station again. You are kidding me. We didn't care at all about the train station. It's almost done here, and now we need to go there. Okay, so four, we go to the train station. We need to put in an... an um, an even value, so the two, and the three is down here. Oh no, that no, that the town is finished. The town is finished, so we can't put we can't put any bad stuff here. So we need to put it the bad stuff where we actually entered the town, so the train station. That means we have another minus one difference to each bottle, and that part of the town is now cancelled. I will put an X here. And that's the end of the game, because four parts of the town are either cancelled or finished. Okay. So, now we will calculate our points. Let me get the dice tray out of the way. Oh. Like this. All right. Let's see how many points we get, right? Okay. So, we will start with... Um, we will just start with, yeah, just one, and then go through all the way to six. So um, here we get five points for each row, um, for each row that we have. So that's five, ten, fifteen. That's fifteen points. Then we get two bonus points if we have two of these. We do, and we get three bonus points if we have all three rows, which we also have plus three. Negative one for a missing one we don't get because we don't have any missing ones. So that's twenty points which is pretty good. Here we get two points for each longhorn with a number above its head. So that's five. Five by two, that's ten. And we get a bonus point for each one that we have here, and we don't have any. 
So that's just 10 points. Here we get one point for each warrant and plus three for each jailed. So that's one, two, three, four, seven, ten, thirteen. And we get a bonus point for each complete row we have. We have one row completed. This one doesn't count because there's an X. So that's plus one and that's 14. Number four, we get plus two for each number above a train car. That's three, three by two, that's six. We get plus one for each row. We don't have a row completed because there's an X. And we get another two bonus points if we have all numbers from one to six here, which we don't either. So it stays with the six. And now we calculate each bottle here. We haven't bought that one, so we can't sell it. So we only have that one. That's three points minus two. That's one point. That's it. And here for each found, we get one point for each captured three points. So that's one, two, three, four, seven, 10, 13, 16. And we get one bonus points for each round, uh, for each row. We have both rows, so that's two bonus points. And uh, oh, oh, what am I doing here? And altogether, that's 18 points. Now we just calculate all our points. So that's 18, 19, 25, 35, 39, 49. That's 69 points. Well, <laughs> I think that's pretty much a perfect score, right? <laughs> all right. Great. So that was Wild Wild West. If you're still watching this video, this pretty long video, then thank you very much for sticking to the very end. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then we are done with the game and I will see you in the next video. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye bye.